The Quran, the holy book of Islam, claims to be the sole divine source of law for Muslims. It insists that it is complete and self-explanatory. This means that everything a Muslim needs to know for guidance is contained within its verses. The Quran emphasizes its divine origin and asserts that it is detailed and clear. It sees itself as a comprehensive guide that requires no other sources for understanding. Being divinely inspired, the Quran holds a unique position in Islam. It calls itself a book of wisdom and guidance revealed by Allah to the Prophet Muhammad. The Quran asserts its clarity and precision, making it accessible to everyone. Muslims believe that the Quran is the final revelation from Allah. This finality and completeness underscore its authority. Understanding the Quran's claim of self-explanation and divine authority is crucial to appreciating its role in Islam. The Quran often describes itself as self-explaining. One of the verses that highlight this is Surah Al-Qiyamah, chapter 75, verse 19, which states, and then it is for us to explain it. This verse emphasizes that the Quran does not need external text to explain its meaning. Allah himself has ensured that the Quran is clear and accessible. Another important verse is Surah Hud, chapter 11, verse 1, which begins with Alif, Lam, Ra. This is a book whose verses are perfected and then presented in detail from one who is wise and acquainted. This verse underscores the perfection and detailed nature of the Quran. Surah Al-Furqan, chapter 25, verse 33, also supports the self-explanatory nature of the Quran. It states, and they do not come to you with an argument except that we bring you the truth and the best explanation. These verses collectively underscore the Quran's claim to be self-explaining. Believers are encouraged to engage directly with the Quran, trusting in its inherent clarity and wisdom. The Quran also asserts its completeness and detail. This is crucial for its role as the sole source of Islamic law. Surah Al-Anam, chapter 6, verse 97 states, And it is he who placed for you the stars that you may be guided by them through the darknesses of the land and sea. We have detailed the signs for a people who know. This verse highlights how the Quran provides detailed guidance. In Surah Al-Ma'idah, chapter 5, verse 3, Allah proclaims, This day I have perfected for you your religion and completed my favor upon you and have approved for you Islam as religion. This verse asserts the completeness of the Quran, suggesting that no further revelations are needed. Surah Al-Anam, chapter 6, verse 38, further emphasizes the Quran's completeness. We have not neglected in the register a thing, then unto their Lord they will be gathered. These verses collectively reinforce the idea that the Quran is a comprehensive guide. Its detailed nature ensures that believers have all the information they need. The Quran's completeness underscores its authority as the ultimate source of Islamic law and guidance. The Quran emphasizes that its teachings are easy to understand. Surah Al-Kamar, chapter 54, verse 17 states, And we have certainly made the Quran easy for remembrance, so is there any who will remember? This verse highlights the Quran's simplicity and ease of understanding. The repetition of this verse underscores the importance of the Quran's clarity and simplicity. It ensures that all believers can engage with its teachings without needing external explanations. Why the Quran should be the sole religious authority? The Quran asserts that it should be the sole religious authority in Islam. Surah Al-Anam, chapter 6, verse 114 questions. Then is it other than Allah I should seek as judge, while it is He who has revealed to you the book explained in detail? This verse emphasizes that the Quran, revealed by Allah, should be the ultimate source of judgment. Surah Ar-Rum, chapter 30, verse 35, further supports this by asking, Or have we sent down to them an authority? And it speaks of what they were associating with him. The Quran's emphasis on its self-sufficiency and detail means that no other texts are needed to understand its teachings. Believers are encouraged to rely solely on the Quran for guidance. This centrality of the Quran reinforces its unique role in guiding Muslims. Critique of using hadith and other sources. The Quran critiques the use of supplementary texts like hadith. 
Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 79 warns, So woe to those who write the scripture with their own hands, then say, This is from Allah, in order to exchange it for a small price. This verse criticizes those who create additional texts and falsely attribute them to Allah. The Quran's emphasis on its completeness and detail suggests that supplementary texts are unnecessary. These additional texts can lead to confusion and misinterpretation of the divine message. The Quran's clarity and self-explanatory nature mean that external sources are not needed. Using hadith and other texts can also introduce human error into the interpretation of Islamic law. By critiquing the use of supplementary texts, the Quran emphasizes its own sufficiency as the sole source of guidance. Believers are encouraged to engage directly with the Quran, trusting in its divine clarity and precision. Instruction to follow only the Quran. The Quran instructs believers to follow only its teachings. Surah Al-Anam, chapter 6, verse 106 states, Follow, O Muhammad, what has been revealed to you from your Lord. There is no deity except him, and turn away from those who associate others with Allah. This verse emphasizes the importance of following only the Quran. Surah Al-Anam, chapter 6, verse 155, further instructs, And this Quran is a book we have revealed which is blessed, so follow it and fear Allah that you may receive mercy. Believers are encouraged to follow the Quran to receive Allah's mercy. Surah Al-Araf, chapter 7, verse 3, also emphasizes, Follow, O mankind, what has been revealed to you from your Lord, and do not follow other than him any allies. This verse warns against following other sources of guidance. By instructing believers to follow only the Quran, these verses highlight the importance of relying solely on the divine message. This ensures that the teachings of Islam remain pure and unaltered. Reading the Quran thoughtfully. The Quran encourages believers to read it thoughtfully and with understanding. Surah Taha, verse 114, advises, So high above all is Allah, the Sovereign, the Truth. And, O Muhammad, do not hasten with recitation of the Quran before its revelation is completed to you and say, My Lord, increase me in knowledge. This verse encourages a thoughtful and deliberate approach to reading the Quran. Surah Az-Zuma, verse 23, describes the Quran as the best statement, a consistent book wherein is reiteration. Surah Al-Muzamil, verse 4, advises, or add to it and recite the Quran with measured recitation. By reading the Quran thoughtfully, believers can fully appreciate its guidance and wisdom. Thoughtful reading allows believers to connect with the Quran on a deeper level. Consistency and Integrity of the Quran The Quran emphasizes its consistency and integrity. Surah An-Nisa, verse 82, states, Then do they not reflect upon the Quran? If it had been from any other than Allah, they would have found within it much contradiction. This verse highlights the Quran's consistency, which underscores its divine origin. The consistency of the Quran is a key aspect of its authority. Surah Al-Hijr, verse 9, states, Indeed, it is we who sent down the Quran, and indeed, we will be its guardian. This verse assures believers that the Quran is protected by Allah and will remain unaltered. The consistency and integrity of the Quran reinforce its role as the ultimate guide for Muslims. Believers can rely on its teachings knowing that they are consistent and divinely protected. Adaptability of the Quran to Advancing Human Knowledge The Quran's teachings are adaptable to advancing human knowledge. Surah Al-Anbiya verse 37 states, Man was created of haste, I will show you my signs, so do not impatiently urge me. This verse suggests that the Quran's signs will become more evident over time as human knowledge advances. Surah Fusilat verse 53 states, we will show them our signs in the horizons and within themselves until it becomes clear to them that it is the truth. This verse suggests that the Quran's signs will become clear over time as human understanding grows. The adaptability of the Quran to advancing human knowledge ensures that its teachings remain relevant. This adaptability reinforces the Quran's role as a timeless guide for humanity. Conclusion, the Quran is the ultimate guide. In conclusion, the Quran positions itself as the only authoritative and divine source of law in Islam. Its self-explanatory nature, completeness and simplicity underscore its unique role.
The Quran critiques the use of supplementary texts and instructs believers to follow only its teachings. The Quran encourages thoughtful reading and emphasizes its consistency and integrity. Its teachings are adaptable to advancing human knowledge, ensuring that it remains a relevant and timeless guide. By relying solely on the Quran, believers can ensure that the teachings of Islam remain pure and unaltered. The Quran's clear and detailed guidance provides everything a Muslim needs for faith and practice. As the final revelation from Allah, the Quran stands as the ultimate guide for Muslims, providing clear and comprehensive teachings for all aspects of life.